Governor DeSantis will be in Tampa tomorrow along with Vice President Mike Pence to talk about Florida's efforts to fight coronavirus. We'll be following that visit right here on 10 Tampa Bay. Now let's get you caught up with the latest numbers. The Florida Health Department is reporting 6,563 new cases since yesterday. That brings the total number to almost 159,000. And in the last 24 hours, another 46 people in Florida died from the coronavirus. 3,550 people in the state have lost their lives to this pandemic since it began. Here's a look at the new cases county by county in the Bay Area. Hillsborough saw a significant spike with 707 new cases. Pinellas reported another 384. There were another 213 new cases in Polk County, 156 in Manatee, and 136 in Pasco. 10 Tampa Bay is bringing you the facts, not the fear when it comes to the coronavirus. Ryan Bass is back to give us context to those numbers. Yeah, Carolina, a lot of people are getting tested, which is good. We did more than 900,000 tests in the month of June. However, the percentage of them coming back last month that were positive, it skyrocketed. Just keep this in mind. Since June 15th, Florida was over 11% positive. We were around 4% in May before reopening, and that is a large, large change. It's why this chart that we're about to show you looks the way it does. We've been tracking it since April, and that has been jumping this last couple of weeks. 45,366 people were tested yesterday. 15% of them came back positive. And the experts agree, including the WHO, that number has to be around 5% before we can get this spread under control. And the reason we want to flatten that curve is to keep our medical system in good shape. And in Florida, we're starting to see an uptick in those hospitalizations, including here in Tampa Bay. Now, keep in mind, the numbers that I'm about to show you, they count all ICU bed use, not just COVID-19 patients. The state doesn't give us the specific coronavirus patients information by hospital. Now, let's go through our 10 counties here because these are what the Agency for Healthcare Administration reports to us. As of this afternoon, Pinellas, Hillsborough, and Polk County, they're seeing a shortage of ICU beds available. Their percentage, all under 11%. You can see the capacity use on the right side of your screen as well. Manatee and Sarasota, those two counties are in good shape. As for some of our smaller counties, Citrus, Hernando, Highlands, they already don't have a lot of ICU beds that were available to begin with. So we keep, we'll keep an eye on those numbers if there's a shortage. Hardy doesn't even offer ICU beds in any of their hospitals. Pasco County, though, that's where the concern is right now. You see that percentage is under 4%. And Carolina, they are working on plans to make sure that they can handle a surge in new patients. Yeah, and Ryan, listen to this. In the last 24 hours, Pasco has had between two and five ICU beds open. That is out of a total of 127. A county spokesperson told us only 10% of patients in those ICU beds are COVID positive. And the county says they have a plan to use a new facility for COVID patients if they need more beds. We will check with Pasco's biggest hospital. So Medical Center of Trinity and Regional Medical Center Bayonet Point make up the majority of ICU beds in that county. A spokesperson for the hospital said they are seeing an increase in COVID-19 patients that began late last week. But quote, COVID-19 patients account for a small number of ICU patients. Advent Health, which operates four hospitals in the county, said, quote, we currently have sufficient personal protective equipment, PPE, for our team members, patients, and guests, as well as available med surge beds, ICU beds, and ventilators should they be needed. It is important to note that while cases are increasing, we are not experiencing a surge in patients who require hospitalization due to COVID-19.